That's a really dodgy area. Oh, I guess like poor. Yeah, uh, drugs, I believe. Crime riddles. Rough. That it's violent. Drugs. Bashings that, that occur there as well. A bit dodgy. Crime riddles. Scary. Possibly drug culture. Drug abuse. Sounds like very scary. Drug use. Um, poverty. What is Footscray to the people who know it best? Why do you think Footscray is one of the fastest growing suburbs in Melbourne? Because it's just great. It's a ripping part of town. It's close to the city. It's still cheap enough, reasonably cheap enough to, to get a house or to, um, to get by. Um, there's opportunities and there's there's like that I think that that melting pot of cultures and is I think it's exciting and I think a lot of other people think it's exciting as well yeah. um, what are some common stereotypes about Footscray and do you think these stereotypes are justified there are some pretty strong stereotypes at Footscray with people who don't live here find it a different place yeah. leafy green eastern suburbs where sort of most people are well off middle class um, white, Anglo-Saxon, and you come to Footscray and you see the amazing diversity, you see the amazing ethnic diversity. It can be, um, it can be a challenge. As I see it, there's probably elements of truth to it, but it, it depends if it's in a positive or negative context. It's sort of, for me, um, there's a real positive to it. But when sometimes when you hear people talk about it, they have a, they kind of look down their nose and. Um, and that kind of gets up the, you know, gets under the skin of people like me and people who are from the area. Old stereotypes of, um, you know, druggies everywhere, and um, and that it's a dangerous place. I think are uh, uh, are really erroneous. Um, is Footscray's reputation as a dangerous place justified? No, I don't think it is. Um, I think that. Uh, like anywhere, um, you have to be cautious, obviously, and use some common sense. Now, I don't think that um, Footscray is any different to, to, you know, that basic rule. But no, I don't think it's justified. Why do you think some people believe Footscray is a dangerous or scary area? <laughs> um, people feel threatened by people who are different to them. Uh, why did you choose Footscray as a place to live? I always liked the diversity that Footscray had. Um, the fact that it was down to earth and the fact that the community is really real, the fact that, you know, your neighbours talk to each other. I really like the public transport links of Footscray as well because that's really important to me to not have to get into a car every time that I need to get somewhere. But look, I think the, real, the thing that I really like about Footscray, it's the combination of really down to earth friendly people um, and just a really accessible great place for people to live. It's very, very vibrant. Um, Footscray is a very diverse uh, part of uh, Melbourne and we're really, really excited to be based here. There's a huge arts community in Footscray and obviously we also have a lot of uh, cultural diversity here. So it's a very exciting place to be. Some people we have talked to are scared of going to Footscray. Uh, why do you think some people are frightened of going there? Uh, oh, I'm not. You know what? I'd like to. I'd like to ask them. Why, I guess, you know, in, in general terms, people are afraid of what's different. Um, maybe there's something in that. But I, until you speak to someone, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure why they would be. Yeah. I don't think there's any particular good reason to be scared of what's great.